As a gay man, I have absolutely no idea what men want in a woman, but today we're finding out what the perfect female looks like thanks to Google and straight men. I mean, already our randomly generated sim looks really, really lovely, although I'm pretty sure that hat is gonna be coming off. 11 characteristics of the perfect girl according to men by Lachlan Brown, a man. First, she's got a great sense of humor, so I guess we're gonna have to give her the goofball trait because she is very silly and goofy. Number two, she's slightly younger than you. Well, in The Sims 4, we're just gonna have to assume that the man is an adult, so the woman is a young adult. Number three, she's got great teeth. Well, it's a good job we double check because these will certainly not do. There we go. Number four, she's got a firm chest. Of course, what man wouldn't want a girl with a big chest? How big are we talking here? Like, literally huge? Are these, are these big enough? Should we just perk them up a bit? There we go. I think that's like the biggest you can make it without mods. Number five, she's got long legs. See, the problem is you can't actually change height because every single sim has the exact same height. Maybe if we just give her heels, oh my god, not the pink mosquito heels, anything but those, something on a platform, therefore it creates the illusion that she's bigger. Number six, the perfect girl is independent. Well, there we go. It looks like she's got the loner trait now. She is a loner. Number seven, she's got small feet. What in the foot fetish is going on here? Okay, there we go. Very, very tiny feet. Oh my god. <laughs> They look like little stubs, like pig hooves. That is probably too small, but there we go. We're gonna roll with it, we're gonna roll with it. Number eight, she's well-educated. Why don't we give her a knowledge trait for that? Academic, that'll be nice. Number nine, she wears red. So I just changed all of the cast filters to red. Let's just randomize it for now. Okay, that's a bit green. Something, there we go, completely red. We haven't been told what outfit she's gonna wear yet. So we just go all red in something for now. Oh my God, she literally looks horrendous. <laughs> Number 10, she's got narrow hips. There was a time that scientists said that men prefer women with larger hips because that meant they were capable of bearing children for the man. Welcome to 2018 or 2022, 4 slash 23 now. That's not a thing anymore. Men prefer small, dainty women who have narrow hips. Okay, so she's got to be small and dainty and super narrow hips. Some men like the hourglass figure, but most straight men like the inverted triangle figure. Number 11, she's a brunette. Goodbye blonde hair. There we go. So now we're looking at outfits men love on women. Guy approved outfits to impress your man. <laughs> Maybe there needs to be a gay version of this and I won't get stood up all the time. <laughs> I apologize for the trauma dumping. Okay, our first outfit is plain t-shirt and jeans. I mean, it's gotta be red, so it's gotta be a plain red t-shirt. That looks nice and plain. We got red jeans, there we go. Number 16 says his shirts. Men like to see women in an oversized shirt. Will this be all right for like a sleepwear thing? So this is like the closest thing we have to an oversized shirt. And there's not one in red, but this is as close as we're gonna get to red. Or should we go for pink? That'll be as close as we're gonna get. Men like a bodycon dress. I don't know what that means, but that's going to be our party wear. Does bodycon just mean like tight, if you know what I mean? Oh, but of course, of course in red, how can I forget? Like, is this what we call bodycon? Because it's like tightly fitted. Do you know what I mean? A man apparently also likes a versatile sundress, a floral printed one that can be flirty and playful. So for our hot weather outfit, is this a floral dress? It looks like something a granny would wear, but apparently this is what straight men want. So it's what they're getting. Apparently men also like leather jackets. There is something so wild and mysterious about a leather jacket. It makes men go crazy. A little rough around the edges. So for our cold weather outfit, let's try and go for a leather jacket. Again, we're not going to be able to do this one in red. There aren't even any leather jackets for females, which is a bit weird. Am I missing something? That's leather. That's leather. I mean, <laughs> he said he likes it rough around the edges. I don't think you can get any more rough. Apparently also the classic little black dress. So that'll be our four outfit. So this is one of the smallest ones I could find. Oh, yoga pants. Okay. We need an athletic wear outfit. So that'll be perfect. And look at that. It comes in red. Oh no, can't forget the red shoes. Okay. Much better. Hairstyles guys love according to Megan McIntyre. Boho braids. I don't think we have that in The Sims 4. A half up hairstyle. Again, I'm not sure if we have any half up ones. Does this count as half up? I think that's the only half up one we have. Men also like loose curls. 
curls. So should we do loose curls for our everyday wear? Again, I think this is as close as we're gonna get to loose curls. Side swept waves. I do think we have something like that. Could we use it for our formal wear outfit? That definitely counts as side swept waves if I don't know what does. A ponytail. So I guess we could do a ponytail for our sleepwear. There we go. Her hair has magically changed length and texture again. A structured updo. See, we do need to sort our party wear one outfit, so that would be quite nice. But what does structured mean? Does that just mean like tight, if you know what I mean? Like, is this, okay, this one here looks a bit medieval, but it also looks like the picture, so it's what we're gonna go for. They also like blunt bangs, so she's gotta have bangs now. That can be the summer outfit. I mean, I don't know if you could get any more blunt if you try, but we also need a sleek bob, okay? The bangs are gone. We need a bob for our very vicious leather outfit. I'm so sure there is a Karen bob in this game somewhere. There we go. What more? Oh, and it's, oh my God, it's a bob with bangs. Couldn't be any more perfect. <laughs> We also need to look at the eyebrows. So how do you say this? Quarora. Do men prefer women with thicker eyebrows or thinner? Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I love girls with thick, hairy eyebrows. <laughs> so these Liverpudlian eyebrows need to go. It's something thick and hairy. I think that looks absolutely perfect. Next, of course, the makeup. 15 makeup looks. Oh my God, cookies notification. Go away, please. 15 makeup looks that men are actually attracted to. Don't be shy to make it so smoky. Something nice and dark that looks smoky. It also looks a bit like she's been smoking something. This one says, the more gloss, the better. So of course we're going for the bright pink MAC lipstick gloss. I assume the men want a girl with massive big pack of lips as well, so that'll do. Ever wondered what men thought about contouring? Apparently men like it according to this. So can we contour in The Sims 4? Not really. We've got like cheek stuff. We've got the MAC stuff, the curse. Okay, we're using Using the Curse Matte Contour, but what colours do you use? I don't know. Is that is that fine? I don't really know how contour works. Oh no, a man likes it if a woman has pink or red cheeks. So we're going for a really, really bright contour. She's starting to... <laughs> Why does she look like a chav? And a pop of colour. I thought they would say men like the natural look, but there we go. We've got a massive pop of colour there. What facial features do men really find attractive according to Mark Travers on Psychology Today? Facial averageness means a face that does not have any strong or unique features, but it needs to have thick lips, round cheeks, high eyebrows. So make those cheeks nice and thick. High eyebrows, big pucker lips, we've already got those. But she, uh, to be fair, it did say she has to be quite average looking, so we can't be too dramatic. The eyes are quite striking along. I think they need to be rounder to make them less dramatic. Maybe the nose can be cinched in quite a bit. Although they like dramatic lips and dramatic boobs, so it can't all be that well-rounded. Oh my god, she literally looks terrified. <laughs> And according to Rose Fall on the tour coat, these are 21 women's names that men find irresistible. Scarlet is a mysterious beauty. Do not, let's just go with Scarlet because she's supposed to like the color red, but she needs a surname. Should we go for, what do we go for? Should we just go for, okay, Leighton? Does that sound sophisticated? Who said that sounded sophisticated? I'm pretty sure in the UK that is a boy's name. Anyway, that'll be her surname. Scarlet Leighton, you are the sexiest woman in the world according to science and men. None of my audience are actually straight men. You're all either women or gay men. I think like less than 1% of you are straight men. So for the 1% of you who are, please let me know. Is this turning you on? Is this making your willy tingle? Please let me know. Once I make my perfect boyfriend in The Sims 4. So if you want to see that, make sure you check out this next video here. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.